Most Israelis have very clear views. This is a very political country. And when you talk to somebody, you can argue all night and you can go red in the face or blue in the face or whatever the color, you won't get anywhere. But when somebody says, I refuse to do this, this is wrong for me, for us, for our country. This is immoral and I'll go to prison rather than do it. And one guy does it, five guys, and 50 and 100. And people say, hey, what's going on here? These aren't cowards, these aren't traitors. Most of them are officers, by the way. So if these guys are refusing, there must be something wrong here. Uh, nobody can argue with what I've seen. I mean, they may not like how I say it, or they may not like all the facts that I convey. It may sound like I'm imbalanced, but the fact is, when you're dealing with oppression, there is no balance. Even someone with a 20% open mind would reach the same conclusions that our commission reached. You could be pro-Israeli, and still, if you saw these realities, you'd have to have a completely closed mind not to come to the same conclusions that we reached. So the violence begins with the occupation. The opposition is resistance to the occupation. Resistance to violence is legitimate in any country in the world. I may disagree with some of the acts of resistance. I think some of the tactics are stupid. Attacks on Israeli civilians are stupid, immoral, and counterproductive. They should be stopped. We should not use violence whatsoever because it, it really destroys our intentions and it destroys our position, which is in the higher moral standing. We are the victims, and the world should not understand that we are the victims. Criticizing the Israeli government policy for assassinating people or for shooting children and maiming them for thousands of children that's not anti-Semitic, that's humane. We have to tell the truth about what's going on and say as clearly as we can, if you keep going down this path, you're going to destroy yourselves. No enemy will have to destroy you. You're rotting from within because of the methods you're using against innocent people. I don't think even with the best video that you can make, Americans will really understand what it is like to be a Palestinian under occupation. I guarantee you, if you spend one week in Gaza or in the West Bank, you will understand it in a very profound way. All the wars of independence, you can start if you want with the war of independence of the United States. They said uh, no taxation with, without representation. And uh, we demand taxation from the Palestinians and don't give them any representation. It is the same all over the world and nobody wants to be under somebody's occupation. South America to meet the Native American Indians. We're looking for these, like, you know, uh, uh, indigenous people with some kind of more, more rooted wisdom, you know, and they're right here. They're right here, right under our noses. Nobody ever comes here. You know, the Falahin for me, the, the Palestinian Falahin, like, it's like, you know, everything that they, yeah, that, that people go looking for, you know, people with, like, deep, deep roots, really connected to the earth with this, in this, romance with their land, you know, and just incredibly wise and open-hearted and, and simple, beautiful, and, and, and Israelis never see them unless it's through a, you know, target. I wish that people knew what was really going on here, and I wish that people could see these people through my eyes. You know, that's what often I'm looking at people and they're so incredibly beautiful and I'm just thinking, I wish that Israelis could for one minute see them through my eyes.
No amount of reading, attendance at conferences, documentary viewing, and word of mouth could have prepared me for the reality of the situation here. You just can't imagine it unless you see it. This is not at all what I asked for when I came into this world. This is not at all what the people here asked for when they came into this world. This is not the world you and Dad wanted me to come into when you decided to have me. This has to stop. I think it is a good idea for us all to drop everything and devote our lives to making this stop. The real battle for justice in the Middle East has to be fought and won here in America. This is an American issue because this is an issue of American foreign policy. The Israelis are talking about this and I think it's time for Americans to realize they're the only ones not talking about it. And it's actually very dangerous for their own interests and for the interest of Israeli Jews here. I mean, we're not going to be tossed in jail, we're not going to be tortured. You know, we're not facing what people in the occupied territories are facing. Uh, if we decide we don't want to do it, fine, but then try to look yourself in the mirror and say, I'm a murderer. It's really high time for Americans to step up to the plate, to do whatever we can, encourage our government to take a strong initiative to end the occupation. Those who really care about the interests of Israel should exert all the pressure possible in order to force Israel to stop the aggression, stop the repression, end the occupation. And the just solution has to be ending the occupation. Ending the occupation is step number one. Justice is the best way of bringing about security and peace. There'll be no security for Israel as long as this kind of oppression continues. Close my eyes to If I dream, then they'll take their claim. Oh, I'll try, oh, I'll try to find to stay. Change what's in 